Jim Lachieski here at the log cabin and today we're gonna do a little experiment to explain all five layers of the ocean. So the ocean covers more than half of the surface of our world and most of that is so deep that the sunlight doesn't even reach it. So there are five layers in the ocean and each one is based off of how much sunlight reaches it. So we have the sunlight zone, the twilight zone, midnight zone, abyss, and trenches. Alright, so the first two layers that we're going to talk about is the trenches and the abyss. These are unique because no sunlight reaches it and the water pressure is so high and so cold that animals have adapted to it. And in these layers we see fish like the angler fish, the blob fish, and some kinds of octopuses. And they look very weird because they adapted to these layers, like the blob fish. Out of water it looks really weird, but in these really high pressure environments it looks normal. And the angler fish has adapted to where it has a light on its forehead that attracts fish into its mouth. Alright, for the materials that we used for the layers, the trenches have corn syrup and the abyss has blue fish soap. And in the trenches we put dark food coloring and in the abyss we put still dark food coloring but a little lighter. In the trenches is pitch black to represent that no sunlight gets here. And now the abyss. Alright, so the abyss and the trenches aren't mixing because corn syrup and the dish soap have different densities. So the corn syrup has a higher density than the dish soap, and that's why they're staying in their spot. Alright, now we're on to the next two layers. We have the midnight and the twilight. And so in both of these layers, we see like hatchet fish, shrimp, some more octopus. And since there is so little sunlight, there are no plants that grow. And in these zones, it is from 200 meters down to 1,000. And that's about the same height as the tallest building in the world. So the materials we're using for these two layers are water for the midnight and vegetable oil for the twilight. Now the twilight zone. The water is staying underneath the vegetable oil because it's heavier than the vegetable oil. And the vegetable oil is on top of the water because it weighs less. And the only reason why it's like has a bunch of bubbles is because of the dish soap. Alright, so on to the final zone, which is the sunlight zone. And this is to about 200 meters, which is two football fields. And it's called the sunlight zone because it's the warmest layer and it's the layer that gets the most sunlight. And so in this layer we see all of our normal fish and normal uh, plants like seaweed, coral, all that. And then the fish would be dolphins, sea turtles, sea otters, seals, and all of the small fish that eat the plants. All right, so for the sunlight layer, we used rubbing alcohol, and we used it because it's the lightest out of all of the materials we used. So as a recap, these are all the five layers. We have the sunlight, twilight, midnight, abyss, and the trenches. 
Isn't it cool how many different layers there are and how deep the ocean goes and how many kinds of fish there are that adapted to the layers? And we're still learning about new ones that were undiscovered. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.